Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, so let us continue with our uh, uh, discussion of uh, the universal covering. So, what we have gotten so far is that uh, uh, we have proved, uh, we have proved, proved uh, the, that the map P from x unit to x is uh, uh, a covering map. Um, we have shown that it is. Um, uh, uh, we have also shown that uh, 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 x sub unib um, um, is uh, locally arcwise connected, locally simply connected. connected uh, uh, act basically because because uh, p is a local homeomorphism and uh, x has these properties okay so um, uh, we have proved that this is a covering uh, that this is a covering map and uh, uh, so so and so x sub unit is of course uh, locally arcwise connected locally simply connected the only thing that you is that remains to prove is that x sub unit is uh, actually arcwise connected okay globally arcwise connected uh, and we have to show that it is uh, simply connected okay which is what we are going to do all right and then uh, 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 towards the end uh, you would like to see uh, why the fundamental group of x can be identified as subgroup of automorphisms of the uh, of the of this universal covering okay so um, the so first let's try to prove that uh, uh, x sub unit is arcwise connected okay so uh, the key to that is the existence of a very canonical uh, lifting of a path uh, starting at x uh, to x unif okay so it's it's in the following uh, way so given uh, suppose i'm given an alpha in x sub unif so how is it going to look like it's going to look like uh, well uh, you know so let me draw a diagram again so here is my so here is my x here is this point small x i fixed and in x sub unif i have this this point alpha and you know this alpha is just uh, going to lie above uh, the end point of the path alpha that starts from x uh, and ends at alpha of 1 and uh, uh, this point is lie going to lie over this namely it is going to be mapped to this under the under the map p which goes from the uh, universal covering space to x okay. Um, now you see and of course over x there is this there is this path uh, that is the unique point c x okay which is a constant path at x that gives me a point that lies over x okay. Now I am going to do the following thing what I am going to do is you see uh, if after all what is alpha see alpha is just a continuous map from i to uh, x okay that sends uh, a t to uh, alpha of t okay. Now I am going to do the following thing. Um, take any t uh, in i of course i is uh, the closed interval 0 1 the closed unit interval in 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 the on the real line okay um, take a t then I am going to get uh, a point here namely alpha of t 
okay and I am going to do the following I am just going to consider the path that starts at x at time t equal to 0 and at time t equal to 1 ends at alpha of t okay. So uh, that you can believe is going to give me a point here uh, which I would like to call as uh, alpha sub t okay and uh, as t varies uh, I will get a path above which is uh, exactly lying over this path below and this path above is what uh, uh, is, is going to be the unique lift, lift of the path alpha okay. So this path above is going to be alpha tilde that is the unique lift of the path alpha uh, to the universal covering uh, starting with starting at this point okay the uh, this point which corresponds to the constant path at x okay. So how do I write this down so you see what I do is I define I define um, a path alpha tilde so this is from I to uh, the universal covering and you know what this path is it is just going to send um, S to um, well let me put uh, okay let me put S S is going to go to uh, alpha uh, sub S okay um, and I am going to put this where where um, alpha sub S is the path from uh, X to um, alpha of S uh, along alpha okay. So you see uh, what is uh, uh, um, so you know this okay there is a I have put in I have put in another variable S here that is because of obvious reasons uh, because I will have to define this alpha sub S okay. Um, so you know basically what is happening is that you see given uh, so what I am actually doing is you see I am just shrinking alpha along itself from alpha of 1 to alpha of 0 which is x okay and this shrinking provides me naturally a homotopy of alpha with the constant path at x okay and this homotopy shows up as a path above okay. So what is happening is see points above are paths below starting from x and in fact uh, 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 the homotopy below is showing up as a path above okay that is what is happening. So uh, it is very easy to define alpha of s it is not difficult to define alpha of s it is so alpha alpha sub s is the path uh, which at t at time t is just the uh, is just alpha of s t uh, so this is the path so you see you can see that uh, when uh, t is 0 you can see that when t is 0 uh, you will get alpha 0 okay and uh, when uh, you will get alpha of 0 which is x okay and when t is 1 you get alpha of s okay so it is a path which which starts at x and ends at alpha of s okay so it will lie above uh, this endpoint alpha of s right so and it is also clear that uh, 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 there is a multiplication of variables here which is continuous so uh, a little bit of uh, work has to be done to show that this map alpha tilde is actually a continuous map okay uh, and once you establish that what happens is that uh, you we, we see that given uh, 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 given any alpha starting with x okay I am able to get a lift alpha tilde that lift is unique that is because you know the moment you have a local homeomorphism uh, the liftings are unique if you fix the you if, if you fix the initial point okay and uh, the lift is a path that connects this point alpha to this point cx now you know uh, uh, if I had two points okay I can connect them uh, by two paths to cx and therefore I can connect them uh, to each other by a path okay that will tell you that uh, this space is arcwise connected okay. So uh, um, uh, uh, a little a little work a little exercise shows uh, uh, alpha tilde is continuous 
uh, uh, hence uh, any uh, point uh, alpha in uh, x sub univ can be connected to uh, uh, C x by a path uh, uh, namely alpha tilde. Uh, so, given uh, any two points alpha and beta uh, here in x sub unit uh, uh, they can be they can be connected uh, by the path well uh, you know I will have to go uh, I have to shrink alpha uh, I have to shrink alpha to x and then I have to unshrink uh, uh, I have to unshrink uh, beta okay so um, uh, so the path will be just you first apply alpha tilde okay that alpha tilde will go from uh, uh, so in fact I should take alpha tilde inverse because uh, I want to go I want it to go like this and then I will apply beta tilde okay so this uh, uh, this path uh, will do the job all right so this tells you that uh, it tells you that therefore uh, uh, this is arcwise connected okay this tells you that this is arcwise connected um, in fact it tells you uh, even more what it tells you is that you know I told you that um, uh, 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 a covering space has the unique path lifting property okay that was one of the consequences of the covering homotopy theorem okay and uh, but that in this case uh, that this uh, this pay this covering has the unique path lifting property okay uh, can be directly deduced from this construction okay. So uh, this construction this uh, this also shows uh, um, uh, this also shows uh, uh, why uh, P from has uh, why this covering has the uh, unique path lifting property okay that is also that also follows from this why because you see uh, of course I can I need not worry about the uniqueness okay because uh, the uniqueness will follow uh, because it is a local homeomorphism so once I have fixed the initial point okay but why does this argument show that because you see now you know uh, okay so let me so let me draw uh, maybe there is not enough space here I should go to the, go to the next board so uh, so let me do that here so so I have so here is my x okay and suppose I am given a path uh, uh, from a point let us say x prime to another point x double prime okay and uh, let me call this path as sigma okay uh, suppose sigma is a path on x uh, on capital X from uh, say x prime to x double prime okay. Now uh, uh, so what is the path lifting property give me a path below and give me uh, a point above okay give me a point uh, above the initial point. So that means I am going to uh, be given uh, I, am, I have to start with an alpha which goes to this uh, uh, x prime okay and I have to show that there is a lift of this path okay. Now what I do is well uh, you see uh, there is this path x there is this point x giving this alpha amounts to giving a path like this okay and uh, you see now consider alpha followed by sigma okay by this construction alpha followed by 
uh, sigma has this lift which is literally got by shrinking uh, alpha followed by sigma okay and you can see that uh, so that you can see that you know if the, uh, if this is the point c x that is lying over x okay then you can see that uh, the uh, the the lift that I have constructed there of alpha followed by sigma will be uh, uh, this lift of alpha namely alpha tilde that I have constructed there followed by a certain other lift of sigma okay. So, uh, so this will be sigma tilde but this will be sigma tilde the lift of sigma to uh, uh, yeah with starting point alpha okay. So, this, this will be sigma tilde sub alpha okay. So, uh, and then this piece is going to just be the lift of uh, sigma okay. So, uh, so let me write that down um, uh, 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 the, the lift the unique lift uh, uh, alpha uh, sigma whole tilde okay which you get by you know shrinking sigma and then uh, shrinking along alpha uh, that is going to be is going to be equal to uh, I mean it has to pass through uh, this point alpha because at some point uh, at some point of time you are going to shrink it to uh, alpha okay and uh, therefore it has to it has to lie here okay and uh, so this will be uh, alpha tilde followed by a sigma tilde sub uh, alpha uh, where where the sigma tilde sub alpha is the unique lift of uh, uh, sigma starting okay so so this construction also tells you that uh, uh, you know you can directly see the path lifting property you can see the path lifting property just looking at this this shrinking homotopy okay and uh, uh, a similar argument uh, will tell you that uh, you can also lift homotopies of paths okay so that is also something that is promised by the covering homotopy theorem but that is something that you can directly see in this case okay so uh, uh, well uh, so uh, similarly so let me write that similarly uh, the uh, uh, homotopy lifting property property for paths can be uh, uh, also directly seen from this construction okay. So, um, so that is also something that I can uh, quickly explain for you. So, you know basically if I have uh, so if I have x here okay and uh, um, so suppose I had uh, um, suppose there are two paths in f x let us say um, alpha and uh, I have another point uh, another path beta okay and suppose alpha and beta are uh, homotopic freely homotopic okay it is a free homotopy uh, which means endpoints need not be fixed okay suppose they are homotopic then basically you will get a diagram like this okay uh, uh, which is uh, the image of a map capital F which is a homotopy from I cross I to uh, x and uh, uh, what will happen is you know um, if I call this as uh, well t comma s okay then uh, uh, and if I call f sub uh, if I call f of uh, t comma s to be f sub t of s okay then uh, saying that f is homotopy from alpha to beta is the same as saying that uh, f sub 0 of s is alpha beta is f sub 1 of s okay 
and uh, so uh, alpha is homotopic to beta uh, via f that is your homotopy okay. Um, all right. So uh, and mind you uh, this is also going to be a path okay and this is also going to be a path what is this path uh, this is going to be the so you know at at some intermediate time t your uh, uh, homotopy uh, will give you a path something like this so this will be this will be f sub uh, t intermediate okay f sub 0 is alpha f sub 1 is beta all right and f sub t is something in, in the middle all right and uh, and you know all these f sub t's if you take the initial points okay uh, that is going to give you a path okay which i which i can call as gamma so this gamma of t gamma of s is just f, f sub uh, uh, gamma of t is f sub t of 0 okay and then uh, if i take all the f sub t's of 1 okay the end points of all the f sub t's that is going to be uh, that is another path i can call it as delta so delta of t uh, will be f sub t of 1 okay now these are also paths because uh, they are again continuous images of uh, the uh, 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 of the interval okay they are restrictions of this continuous map to suitable uh, subsets here so they are also paths now uh, what how do you get the covering homotopy see uh, uh, how do you cover this homotopy so you know you have p here you have x sub unit so I do the following thing you see for this point I choose uh, a point above okay and then uh, I lift this alpha to alpha tilde okay but this is alpha tilde starting at this chosen point okay then I also lift this gamma I will get a gamma tilde I will get a unique lift all right also I will get um, uh, I will also get uh, uh, from this point I will get a unique lift of beta namely beta tilde and from this point I will get a unique lift of delta and uh, that will be delta tilde okay and the fact is that the end point of delta tilde and the end point of beta tilde will be the same that is because actually if you look at this picture it tells you that alpha followed by delta is fixed end point homotopic to gamma followed by beta this this picture itself will tell you that this com this path alpha followed by delta is fep homotopic to gamma followed by beta okay and since these two paths have the same end point okay this point above that you get has to be the same all right by the very definition of x sub unit okay so uh, so the moral of the story and uh, so the moral of the story is you can lift the homotopy and in fact uh, similarly this ft will lift to and ft tilde okay so the whole homotopy will lift okay and uh, uh, one can actually sit down and verify that uh, 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 you get a you get a lifting like this f tilde okay and you can check that this uh, lifting is actually continuous okay so uh, using this construction uh, you can actually see uh, why this uh, uh, x sub unit has the uh, unique path lifting property and also the homotopy uh, lifting property and you see further you see if this was a, a fixed end point homotopy then this gamma will collapse to a point delta will collapse to a point and the unique lift of that will also have to be constant paths above so what it will tell you is that fixed end, end point homotopies will lift to fixed end point homotopies okay so these are all uh, things that the covering homotopy theorem in general promises for any uh, you know covering space but in the case of the universal covering space you can di directly see it because of this uh, construction all right okay so fine so now um, there is only one more thing that is left and that is to show that uh, the uh, x sub unit is simply connected so let us do that uh, x sub unit is simply connected I have to show this so uh, uh, so for that um, I am going to do the following thing um, so 
So what I will have to do is I will have to take a uh, uh, so I will have to show that the fundamental group at any point is uh, trivial okay. So uh, but you know the fundamental group uh, at different points are going to be isomorphic uh, so I can choose any one point and show that the fundamental group at that point is trivial alright that is because I have already shown that X sub unit is R twice connected okay. So what I will do is uh, I will show that the fundamental group at uh, uh, at Cx okay is trivial okay. So what I will do is uh, pi 1 X unit comma Cx is trivial is a, is a trivial group okay right so uh, so what do i do i take a i take a uh, uh, loop here uh, okay i take a loop uh, centered at uh, uh, a loops starting at cx and end ending at cx i'll have to show that i can continuously deform it to the constant path at cx that's 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 what i have to show okay so what i'll do so let me do that so uh, so let me draw a diagram. Uh, start with with uh, with the beta uh, um, in uh, pi one x sub unit c x. Okay. So um, so let me draw a diagram again. Um, so I have this situation. So here is x um, in capital X. This is x sub unit, and over the point x in the fiber, uh, well, uh, I have cx. Okay, and what I've done is um, I've taken I've taken a point I've taken a path beta <coughs> above. Okay, uh, I've taken a path beta above, right? And of course, I should take in principle um, homotopy class. Because the fundamental elements of the fundamental group are uh, FEP homotopy classes, right? So um, I'll have to show that this beta is uh, I'll have to show that this beta is homotopic to the constant path C X. Okay. Now uh, let's project this beta down under P. Okay. If you project this beta down under P, what I'll get is uh, I'll get a path below. I'll get a I'll get a closed loop below, and uh, what is this closed closed loop? It's just uh, it's just going to be um, P uh, beta followed by P. Okay, it's going to be beta followed by P. All right, and uh, well, uh, now take this beta followed by P. Okay, and take its unique lift to uh, uh, to X univ uh, starting at the point C X. Okay, by this construction, given a path starting at x alpha I have an alpha tilde okay now this alpha tilde is just uh, the shrinking homotopy okay it is gotten by the shrinking homotopy okay. So you take you take for this path you just take the unique lift there alright. So what will happen is that you will see uh, P circle beta tilde uh, uh, let this be the unique lift lift of P circle beta uh, to uh, uh, X sub unit starting at uh, at the point C X okay take this unique lift alright. Now notice that uh, uh, by the uh, by the by the very definition uh, both uh, this as well as beta they go to the same element below all right so you know uh, uh, p circle beta uh, tilde uh, if i take p of that uh, uh, if i take uh, p lower star of that that will be equal to um, p lower star of cx P lower star of uh, uh, beta. <coughs> so I'll have to put square brackets. Where you know P lower star 
is the group homomorphism from the fundamental group above. to uh, the fundamental group below okay. So you know uh, so now I have P circle beta tilde and beta both going to the same thing but you know uh, that this is injective okay uh, this uses the covering homotopy theorem but uh, in any case we have verified the covering homotopy theorem uh, uh, namely uh, the important color corollaries namely the uh, uh, unique path lifting property and the homotopy lifting property so even from that uh, you can show, show that P lower star is injective okay. So uh, so what this will tell you is that these two are the same okay so let me go back uh, there so yeah so So what so P lower star injective will tell you that those two elements are the same okay it will tell you that these two elements are the same. So what it will tell you is uh, P circuit beta uh, tilde is equal to beta okay these two are the same. Uh, so um, so what it means is they have to be FEP homotopy okay so in particular it means their end points are the same. So this is this is this will tell you that end point of P circle beta tilde will be the end point of beta okay. Now you see um, uh, the uh, uh, you see the end point of beta so you see you have uh, 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 the end point of beta is Cx okay so I will get Cx on this side okay and this P circle beta at 1 P circle beta at 1 is actually uh, so what is this P circle beta so uh, what is uh, what is P circle beta tilde you see uh, this is P circle beta okay and what is P circle beta tilde it is the path that I get by shrinking uh, uh, I just shrink uh, this P circle beta along itself okay and that is the path I get above okay and this shrinking okay at 0 it is the uh, constant path at x and at 1 it is uh, it is the path P circle beta itself alright. So, uh, so P circle beta of 1 is actually uh, P circle beta. Uh, is just P circle beta uh, uh, homotopy class okay because you know uh, uh, for a moment if you let me again redraw that the diagram that I just erased see this is x this is my if this is my alpha okay this is alpha of 1 okay uh, what is the lift above the lift above is alpha tilde okay and uh, uh, this alpha tilde which is the lift of alpha is how is it given alpha tilde at t is just alpha sub t okay. So uh, you know uh, alpha tilde at 1 will be uh, alpha tilde at t is just alpha sub t homotopy class of alpha sub t. So you know alpha tilde of 1 is going to be alpha sub 1 okay but what is alpha sub 1 alpha sub 1 is just alpha because you see alpha sub t was defined from i to uh, uh, x by you know s yes going to alpha of t s. So you know alpha sub 1 will be just s going to alpha of s okay so uh, this will be just alpha okay so you know uh, alpha tilde of 1 is just alpha so p circle b beta tilde of 1 is just p circle beta but what does this tell you this tells you the thing on the right is p lower star of um, the constant path at uh, 
C x okay and the thing on the left is uh, p lower star of beta and p lower star being injective okay will tell you that uh, this beta has to be equal to uh, the homotopy class of beta is equal to the homotopy class of the constant path at C x okay. So, uh, so, so that is it so that tells you uh, that uh, the uh, given any that tells you that given any uh, uh, element of the fundamental group above uh, it is homotopic to the constant path okay that means the fundamental group above is trivial right uh, and since the space above x univ is uh, arcwise connected all the fundamental groups at various points are all going to be uh, trivial and therefore it is simply connected right. So, uh, uh, so again let me repeat what is happening I start with a I will start with a, a, a uh, a loop base at Cx, I push it down, okay, and then if I take the uh, if I take the unique lift of this again to Cx, okay, by the unique lifting property, I'm going to just get back this, okay, and if I take the endpoints, okay, that is going to tell me that uh, uh, beta can be uh, uh, the homotopy type of uh, beta is uh, uh, the same as the homotopy type of the constant map at this point, okay, and therefore. Uh, the fundamental group is trivial okay that is the whole point right okay. So, um, so that finishes uh, uh, the the construction of the universal covering space uh, what one needs to know is uh, next is uh, the following one needs to uh, understand why the uh, the fundamental group uh, of x can be identified as a subgroup of automorphisms of x subunit okay so uh, so this will involve uh, some work um, 